Well, I finally got some tires put on the wheels. Got the matching wheels put back on it. Oh yeah. Everything's way sexier now. If you didn't see the painting the brake calipers, if you didn't see that video, then all you have to do is figure out what's the matter for yourself and go back and watch my old videos. And yeah. I see a smile. Oh, there it is. There's a smile. The mailman brought some stuff. Delco front hubs and rotors and rear drums. These are like 82 to 92 Camaro and Firebird. They might be the same as S10. I'm not sure. Delco Professional. Got some brake parts cleaner. So I'm going to degrease them. And then I've got some high temperature brake paint. I'm going to paint them. These don't come with any bearings. But there's a, there's a bearing race. The races are in there. So I got inner bearings, outer bearings, and seals for the, the hub. Okay, I used the brake cleaner and I degreased them, wiped them off, and I made a mask that masks off the rotor because I don't want to paint this part where the brake clamps. I just want to paint the hub. And I have a little one here that covers the bearing race also. So I think I'm ready to paint now that they're degreased. Uh, I'm just going to make sure there's no dust. I'll blow them off or wipe them off. And then I'm, I'll shoot them one at a time. I only have one mask. So paint this one. I'll probably let it dry because I don't want to scratch the paint when I take this off. Real orange VHT high temperature paint. Drum and rotor chemical resistant. So I put one coat on pretty heavy. I always try to get full coverage on the first coat which is a bad habit. So I should put the first coat on light but I always try to get full coverage for some reason. But anyway, that's pretty good. I don't see any runs. I should be ready for a second coat here pretty soon. Oh yeah, they're dry already. So I figured paint them while they're new before they get rusty and also protect them from rust at the same time. I guess I'll hit them with a second coat. So, the second coat is dry now. I probably have enough to do three coats, but I still have to do the other side, so I only have one mask. Speaking of mask, ta-da, oh yeah, that turned out nice. Just cut a hole in a bucket lid, <laughs> set it on there, cover the rotor. You could probably use masking tape or something, but that turned out pretty good. There's another cap there, oh yeah, that turned out good. There's going to be a hub cap on here, so... I'm not too worried about any imperfections on the nose. Uh, this one you don't have to mask anything off, so I could have done them both, but I don't have much room on my workbench. This is actually a tailgate. I don't want to get any overspray on the truck. I don't have a lot of room here, so I'm just going to do two at a time. 
There's the first pair that I did. Oh, did they ever turn out nice. They don't come painted from factory, these Delco ones, so they should just look a little better and last a little longer. So the first coat is pretty much dry on this second pair, and that'll be all four painted. I just gotta lay down the second coat here. And then there's the new bearings and seals that have to go in and they'll have to be packed with grease. Put the second coat on really heavy. So yeah, you got uh, two good coats on both both pairs. Now that it's now that it's dry, I can take off this mask. And they're ready to be installed now on the Firebird. Like I said, I'll have to arrange the bearings in here and pack them with grease. Spider web covered in rain droplets and dew. Mother Nature's artwork. That's pretty cool. Okay, I painted the uh, new brake rotors and drums and these are pretty simple. The only thing that holds them on is the wheel. Of course, I do have a spacer on here as well, so it's a bolt-on spacer. I have to remove that. But as long as there's no big groove worn in the drum, it should just slide off. Two inch bolt on spacer. And this drum should just, if it's not worn in too bad, it should just come off. Look at that. This is going to be easy. There's lots of meat on the old brake pads, surprisingly. Everything's in good shape on the old girl even the backing plates backing plates are actually surprisingly shiny there's still paint on them so now would be a good time to to check things out and uh, inspect your components AC Delco Professional okay so painted these yesterday. These are new Delco professional OEM drums. Nothing fancy about them other than the fact that I painted them. It's going to be a snug fit because these drums aren't worn in. There's adjusters that you can adjust to um, to compensate for your worn drums or new drums. Okay, so I lubricated the adjuster down here even though it turns fine. And uh, I, I backed it off a little bit. I draw the uh, brake shoes in a little bit because she was a little bit tight and there's lots of meat on the pads so I had to draw her in a bit this is like new so it should go on now hopefully oh yeah I think that's pretty good looks a lot better that's for sure a lot better than that
most of the stuff is in good shape on this old car, but some of the things like the tie rod ends and the drums, I'm just changing them because they're rusty. One of the best parts about this old car is the original e-brake handbrake works and uh, it works well. So all the brakes are in good condition. In order to stop it from turning, since it's not a posi, I put the e-brake on. So that should be good. Got the torque wrench set to 96 foot-pounds. I'm going to do the star pattern every other clockwise. And I'll double check them. That e-brake really does work good. For, uh, I'm glad it does. But yeah, it works good for that. Park them down on both sides, double check and triple check them. So, I think the wheels are ready to go back on. Everything looks a million times better. I like that. I always start them with my fingers. Usually if they won't thread on with your fingers, there's a problem. Got the torque wrench still set at 96 foot pounds. I'll go around, I don't have to do it all at once. Just go around and do the five star pattern. I'll do about half on my first pass, torque them about halfway. And then, uh, and then on my second pass, I'll hear the click. I just want to make sure everything's equal and tight and torqued, especially with the two inch wheel spacer. Oh yeah, everything's way sexier now, yeah, I like that. Up front, it has disc brakes, and previously I painted the calipers in a previous video, but the rotors, uh, I've got new ones to go on, so might as well. I painted them yesterday. I think it's the same color. I guess we'll find out. If you didn't see the painting the brake calipers, if you didn't see that video, then all you have to do is figure out what's the matter for yourself and go back and watch my old videos and yeah it turned out pretty good the calipers were pretty pretty good condition they worked good so I guess this side here actually needed a new wheel bearing and the wheel bearing is a little bit sloppy on this side so that's one reason probably the main reason why I'm doing this Objects in mirror are more awesome than they may appear. Yeah. Well, I got the rears done. They look a lot better. And they're, of course, they're going to work a lot better. They're brand new drums. Uh, they look good being painted. Now, for the front, it's going to be a little more involved because the caliper has to come off. The wheel bearings have to be changed and there's a hub bearing or um, there's a hub seal that holds the grease in so I guess I'll start by taking off the old stuff 